to you from IT Expo West 2010 at the Los Angeles Convention Center. And I'm joined today by Ed Preble, CEO of Affinity VoIP Telecom. Welcome, Ed. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks for joining me today. Um, so just to start us off, tell us about the company and what you guys do. Well, Affinity VoIP Telecom is probably one of the longest uh, companies that has been in the VoIP industry for, for the longest time. We incorporated in 2004, so we've got an awful lot of experience. We started out in um, hosted uh, services, more accurately, private label hosted services. Okay. And so what we did is we set together multi-tenant switches so that we could put other companies in business to compete with the likes of Vonage and when they were around Skype and, and companies like that. Mm -hmm. And we did very, very well at that, um, expanded uh, uh, dramatically, took on lots of, of uh, private label resellers as well as lots of accounts underneath them and uh, gave them the ability to do all of their own billing. Mm -hmm. So um, as part of that process though, we also had to develop relationships with a lot of vendors uh, in order to obtain telephone numbers all across the nation, because right. we're a, we were a national provider, in order to obtain um, uh, termination services and 911 services and 411 services mm -hmm. and all the services that were needed in order to be able to deliver uh, a, a product like that. We really grew into one of the into one of the largest companies of its kind doing that. Uh, but what we discovered over the course of the of the of the time in that process was that the the amount of of work that was needed for us to do the the private label stuff versus the working our our our, our vendors for the for the um, uh, carrier services was a lot more. Profits okay. very very good. But what we wanted to do is, is, is make, we made the strategic decision to move in the direction of carrier services. So earlier this year, we sold off that portion of our business, I should say the, the private label portion of our business, and are now dedicated strictly to the carrier services. And, uh, and that's been going very, very well for us so far. Okay, great. Um, now tell us about some of the new products that you're introducing. Well, the... Uh, some of the products we've had in one form or another, but what we've done is we've improved them, revised them, and made them so that uh, if we're going to offer them to other companies like what we used to be, uh, they would be some of the most superior products in terms of quality, in terms of price. Uh, we know what other companies who, who are in the hosted arena have to deal with. So what we wanted to do was, uh, was, was provide products that would satisfy their needs. And so we have essentially three main products that, that, that we provide to the uh, private label companies. One is, uh, they're all s surrounded around termination, but one mm -hmm. has to do with dialer traffic, one has to do with um, domestic termination, and the other has to do with international termination. Okay. Um, we were talking earlier, um, a trend that you're seeing in terms of carriers not wanting to, um, they don't want a lot of dialer uh, auto dialer traffic. So what is unique about um, your dialer termination service? Well, in terms of dialer traffic, it's a really tough thing for a carrier to take. And the reason is, is because there's a lot of call attempts that happen in a very short period of time. And there's not particularly a lot of minutes that come along with that kind of traffic. And that's where the carriers make their money. Mm -hmm. So in order to be able to send dialer traffic, most carriers, or receive dialer traffic, most carriers will require that the sender mix the dialer traffic with some amount of non-dialer traffic. Okay. What we've done is we've worked out a economic and technical model with the carriers that allows us to send virtually unlimited dialer traffic to them without hammering their system, mm. without adversely affecting uh, the performance of their system and uh, allowing them to keep the profit that they are presently keeping with their system. And so as a result, one of the key products that we're promoting and are doing very, very well with uh, because of its quality and because of the price point is the dialer termination services. Okay. There's not really a lot of, of um, uh, opportunity for somebody who has an automatic dialer system, uh, a computerized dialer, if you will, uh, to be able to send their traffic to. And so what we've done is we've set it up so that they can do such a thing and they can get the quality that they need, they can get the price point that they need because recently a lot of the carriers uh, came out with penalties, mm. uh, severe penalties, price penalties for right. sending dialer traffic. 
So as a result, we're able to solve that problem, and, um, and that is one of the great things uh, that, the, that'll, that, that we're seeing as an industry change right now. Uh, and fortunately, we're on the forefront of the technology to be able to solve that problem. That's a good place to be. Um, tell me, how is, how is uh, the Affinity uh, Termination Service product being received so far at IT Expo this week? <laughs> Uh, I couldn't have imagined a better reception. Uh, there's an awful lot of demand out there, and with the restrictions that exist on the part of the major carriers for dialer traffic, that demand is pretty pent up. So as we've come out to the, to the show and, and, and told people about our product and, and about how it works and, and the price points and, and how we can take just about all that they ever have to, to send us, mm -hmm. they've been pretty ecstatic. For many of them, it's, wow, I can't believe that this is happening. This We're so exists. glad we found yeah. you. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So it's been v received exceptionally well. That's great. We're glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me. I've been speaking with Ed Preble, CEO of Affinity Wave Telecom. I'm Aaron Harrison coming to you from the LA Convention Center at ITX West 2010.